At the end of 2014, MSF launched the first clinical trials for Ebola treatments in three of its centres. So let's find out what's been happening. First of all, how is a new drug developed? The process starts with preclinical trials to evaluate, select and transform the most promising molecule. Then it's on to the clinical trials. During phase one, the drug is administered to healthy volunteers to gauge possible side effects. During phase two, it's administered to patients to assess efficacy and determine the appropriate dose. The third phase compares the tested drug with an existing treatment or placebo. And once all these trials are successfully completed, the drug is ready to market. Under normal circumstances, the process takes up to 10 years. Due to the scale of the Ebola epidemic in West Africa, the World Health Organization agreed in August to fast-track clinical research. This meant that clinical trials would be launched on eight drugs viewed as particularly promising. What are the guiding principles? Streamlining and adapting research protocols to the setting. Producing drugs swiftly and making them available in sufficient quantities at an affordable cost. Informing and working closely with the authorities and local communities to ensure their commitment. And sharing results as they become available. In November, MSF announced that three clinical trials would be conducted in its treatment centres in West Africa. Tests began in Guinea and Liberia on favipiravir and brincidofavir, two orally administered drugs. The brincidofavir trial had to be cancelled almost as soon as it began due to a lack of patients. The third trial, also in Guinea, is assessing the efficacy of transfusing blood products from Ebola survivors to infected patients. Initial results should be available in February.